Welcome back to Terramine's how-to tutorial series. In today's video, we will show you how to deploy Terramine on AWS. Terramine's user activity monitoring and data loss prevention solutions are available as a private cloud deployment option on Amazon Web Services. To get started, you will need an AWS account and your Terramine license key. When logged into the Terramine website, hover over the product tab and select AWS deployment. From there, click on the Check Out Terramind on Amazon Marketplace, which will redirect you to Terramind's deployment page on AWS. Once there, click the Continue to Subscribe button on the top right-hand side. Accept the terms, and then continue to Configuration. You can choose the Fulfillment option, Software version, and Region from this page. Be sure to select a region closest to you for better overall performance. Once you have made your selections, click Continue to Launch. On the Launch This Software page, click on Choose Action and then select Launch through EC2. Once done, click Launch. Here we will need to select an instance type. While for this video we will select a T2 medium instance, Terramine recommends at least an M4 extra large for a typical deployment of up to 300 users. Once you have made your selection, click Review and Launch towards the bottom of the page. Review Instance Launch will show you all the details associated with your instance. Click Launch to accept the configurations and launch the instance. Once done, a window will pop up where you can choose an existing key pair or you can create a new key pair. From the first pull-down menu, select Create a new key pair and give it a name. Then select Download key pair and save the file in a secure place. Once done, click Launch. After a few seconds, the instance will be initialized. Click View Instances to see your newly created instance. When the instance state display is running, it means it's now ready for a connection. We will use SSH to connect to the instance and set it up for a Terramind installation. If you are running Windows, you can use a tool like PuTTY or a similar utility for the SSH. When launching the command prompt, be sure you have administrative access. Type the following command prompt as seen on the screen. If you need to pause the video, go right ahead. Once done, go back to the AWS homepage and copy the public hostname from your instance. Paste the hostname just after the at symbol in the command prompt. The Termine server will be ready in a few minutes and you'll be given options to assign a role for the host. But before we do that, we need to complete a couple of other steps. Keep this command window open as we will need it to finalize the setup at a later stage. Before we proceed any further with the setup process, we need to determine if we want to use external databases or storage with the instance. External databases or storage are mandatory. However, you may want to use Amazon RDS as a database and Amazon S3 for screen and audio recordings. Using both RDS and S3 will improve the scalability of your platform and is recommended for deployments over 100 concurrent users. For this video, we will use external databases. First, we will create an RDS database. If you already know how to create an RDS database, you can skip the next section. From your EC2 management console, click services from the top left-hand side. Then type RDS in the search field. A few options will show up. Select RDS manage relational database service from the list provided. On the left-hand menu bar, select Databases. Then click Create Database from the far right-hand side. For Engine Options, select PostgreSQL. Then click Next. For this video, we will select the Dev Test use case. In Real Deployment, you will of course select the Production use case. Then press Next. For this demo, we will use the RDS Free Tier option. This is great if you're running test databases and don't want to pay for its usage. Scroll down until you see the Settings section. Now type a name into the Database Instance Identifier field. Assign a master username and password. Here you can set up things like network and security, encryption, backup, and others. For this demo, we will leave them at their default settings. Now click Create Database. 
Once the instance is created, you will see a View Database Instant Details button. Click that. You will now see a summary of all your database details. Click the Databases link from the left tab to go to the list of databases. This will display the current status of the database under the Status column. Once it shows available, you are ready to use it. As mentioned before, Terramind doesn't need external databases and storage. However, Terramind uses file storage for screen recordings and S3 is an efficient, secure, scalable, and redundant solution to store objects within AWS. AWS Identity and Access Management enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely. Using IAM, you can create and manage AWS users and groups and use permissions to allow and deny their access to AWS resources. Go to the Instances screen from your EC2 management console. Here we will create an Identity and Access Management or IAM profile that's required to access any AWS S3 service. If you know how to create an IAM, you can skip this section. Make sure you have selected the instance you want to use. Click Actions on top of the instance name. From the menu, select Instance Settings and then select Attach Replace IAM Role. Once there, click Create New IAM Role. Then click Create Role. Select the default AWS service as the trusted entity. Then click Next Permissions. From the list of permission policies, select the one named Amazon S3 Full Access. We will skip the optional tag screen and go to the Create Role screen. Let's give it a name and then click Create Role. Now that we've created the RDS database and an IAM for the S3 storage, we are now ready to continue with the rest of the setup process. Let's go back to the command prompt window. For the master role, let's give it a name and then press enter. Terramind will then ask if you want to use external databases. Type yes. Provide a database IP or host name, username, and password. Feel free to reuse the details from the RDS database we created earlier on in the process. Once you press enter, Terramind will initialize the database, tables, and required indexes automatically. It will then ask you if you want to use S3 for storage. Go back to the EC2 management console and select your instance. Click Actions on top of the instance name. From the menu, select Instance Settings and then select Attach Replace IAM Role. Let's expand the IAM Role pull-down menu and select the IAM you want to use for the S3. You can use the IAM we created earlier on in the process. Click Apply and then Close to assign the IAM to the instance. Let's go back to the command prompt window once again. Type yes to the use S3 for storing data prompt and then press enter. Type yes once again to the create new buckets prompt. You will be creating three buckets. One for screen recordings, one for user content like mail attachments or printed documents, and the third one for application objects. Be sure to give unique names for each bucket. This will conclude the initial configuration of Terramind. You will now be presented with an HTTPS link. Click this link to continue with the rest of the Terramind configuration process. If you haven't assigned an SSL certificate, you may be prompted with a warning message. Most browsers will allow you to continue with an override action. If you are using Google Chrome, click the Advanced link on the page and then select the Proceed To option. You should now see the Terramind welcome screen. Select your language and time zone and then click Continue. Next, you will be required to set up an email and a password to be used for the admin account. Click Continue once done. Now you will need to provide the license key. You can locate your license key from the Terramind portal. Enter the license key and click Continue. From here, all you will need to do is install the Terramind agent on the endpoints you want to monitor. For detailed instructions on how to install the Terramind agent, watch the video Downloading and Installing Terramind's Hidden Agent on our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button below to view other tutorials from the Terramind YouTube channel.